it's Tuesday of Holy Week. And so we're working our way through Luke's Gospel, and we're on chapter 21. Chapter 21 is not an easy chapter to read. In it, Jesus is at the temple teaching. I mean, it begins out with him watching in the treasury as people put in their offerings and he watches a, a woman drop in her last two cents. And he tells them that she's given more than all the other people that have come in today. And then he starts talking about how the world goes through these times of just chaos and mess where where people turn on each other where the world is destroyed and he says in those moments watch for god in that destruction and terror in those times where you may be arrested for being on the wrong side he says to watch for God. So he ends this. So he ends this discussion of um, the trials and conflict and chaos that will come to the world with this verse from verse thirty-six. Be alert at all times, praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that will take place and to stand before the Son of Man. So I invite you to close your eyes and breathe in deeply. Feel the presence of the Holy surrounding you. And take a moment to think about all the chaos around us. Think about the commuters in New York who are who faced a, a shooter this morning. Think about the Philippines where a tropical storm came through and over 20 people are dead. Think about the conflicts in Ukraine. The people who have fled or are fleeing. Those who are fighting. Think about the drought plaguing Africa that is leading to millions and millions of people hungry, starving. What other places come to mind for you when you think about conflict and chaos in the world. Holy One, we draw your presence into those places that are full of conflict and violence and chaos. Be present with the people in the midst, whether it's destructive storms, whether it's violent gunmen, whether it's war or famine. Be in the midst of your people. Surround them with your comfort 
Surround them with your love. And always when we think about those places, those moments of tragedy and violence and chaos, we ask you to be with those who rush in to help. We ask you to be with the elected officials, the government, who could do something to change the response, the problem. We ask you to bring into their presence people who encourage them to see a different way, your way. And only when we remember that Jesus at the end of each day of teaching and preaching went out to the garden, to the Mount of Olives, to rest, to pray. So give us those moments when we can rest and pray and experience your holiness surrounding us and comforting us. As we pray together that prayer your son taught us, speaking in the words that we first learned it in from Latin and Samoan, Tagali, Japanese. We say these words that comfort and challenge us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.